Hello everyone, this is Lee from Peach and Plum Lab, a place for creative kids to learn and grow. Today I'm going to show you guys how to draw a raccoon. So let's start with the orange highlighter. So what I'm going to do is to define the head, body and tail shape using the color and then we're going to use the outline to draw the details. First, let's draw a curved shape like this. This is the head on the top. And I'm going to add a little curved line here just to indicate where the chin is going to be. And I'm going to draw the body part using the same color. And then draw two curved shapes like this facing diagonally. This will be the hand parts later. Now let's draw a big curve right around this area. That's the back and now we are going to add another curve on this side, a little smaller. Then another curve just to define the upper body and this will be the leg area. Now let's color this whole body completely in the same orange. Okay, and now let's add a little curve for the other side of the leg. So make sure it doesn't connect completely with this part of the leg. So we have some lines to work around. So I'm also going to use the same color for the tail, but the tail consists of two different colors, so I'm going to use another color later to fill in the gaps. So we have to draw the tail like stripes, leaving some gaps in between. Let's do another one like that and this will be the tail for the raccoon. You may wonder what will be the other color that I'm going to use. It will be pink. So first of all, let's finish the tail. We can just fill up the gaps between the tails that we left earlier. And now let's move on to the head because raccoon has black mask around their eye area. So I'm going to use the pink color to draw that mask. Yes, I'm using pink as an alternative for black because we don't use black colors actually for any of our drawings. So the mask look like a sausage shape, like half of a sausage. And they're symmetrically positioned on the face and the same on the other side on the right. I'm going to extend the orange down here in between the mask because that's how a raccoon actually looks like when you look at some of the pictures. Okay, this is the basic color for the raccoon. This shape actually looks like a monkey, so if you are interested in, so feel free to extend and also just draw anything else on top of this shape that you just created. So definitely imagine anything you wanted to draw, but here I'm going to finish a raccoon. First, let's just to complete the head shape. Maybe first let's draw two ears, just start with two triangles. And then connect the top and then we're going to complete the head but still leave some areas for the chain also let's outline the mask okay like that so okay this is the eye part so let's add the eyes Now it's getting cute, isn't it? Also, let's add a little nose right around here. Now let's finish the head by connecting all the lines. Okay, now let's get started with the body. And as I said, this is left for the hand. So we are going to draw two tiny little hands. And I'm going to draw lines like this to indicate the claws and the other hand as well. Now let's finish the outline for the body. First is the back. Just follow exactly what we have colored. 
and then draw the leg we have to curve from inside a little bit like this and then stop right here leave a little gap for the feet later we have to complete the body by adding the stomach so the stomach is actually a little different color so we're going to add a tiny little curve around here like this to indicate this is a fat body and then the other part of the leg and now let's add the feet it's quite small but let's connect it to the body and the same for the other side as well now let's move on to the tail and we will be finishing up our raccoon so first let's complete this whole tail shape like this and add the top line like this to complete it then we're going to use lines to divide the sections to indicate the stripes on the tail. Alright, here we go. This is almost done. But this ear looks a little empty, so let's add another layer of triangle. Now we can imagine where the light comes from. I always liked adding a little highlight just to show the different dimensions for the animal. So let's add a little highlight on this part of the body. And at the same time, of course, we can add a little shadow on the bottom of the body. So the last part, I'm going to just use my orange highlighter to clean up this area a little bit so it's not random highlighter marks all over the place. One last part I wanted to touch is maybe the very top part for the ear, adding a teeny little color. Alright, here we go. This is how you can draw a raccoon. So if you guys finish this, I would love to see it. Please go to peachandplumblab.com, join our community and upload your work. I would love to see you guys there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!